In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can do what we call network boning using your phone and a, an application called OmniStream. Now, this is going to be useful if you're doing some mobile streaming and probably you are in a place where you don't have access to a traditional strong network and you want to bone two network sources, maybe Wi-Fi plus your cellular network or maybe you have another phone, you have two phones and you want to use, of course, one phone for streaming and using OmniStream, of course. And the other phone is going to be sending the hotspot to this phone so you can bone the hotspot network coming from this phone into the other phone. So that's going to give you two network sources, making your network or your bandwidth, your, your connection a little stronger for your streaming. So without taking much time, I'm going to go ahead and if you don't have OmniStream application, this is a cool application that i've been talking about if you don't have it go to app store or google play and download the application again it's called omnistream once you have it downloaded 100 it's not free but they have really good plans and they even have daily plans so if you're streaming doing mobile stuff this is an application you need to check out so let me show you uh this is one of the cool features that it has which is network boning so you're gonna go ahead and actually click to the omnistream application icon once you have it downloaded and mine for the first time it ask you to you know sign up and just follow instructions it's actually super easy once you've done everything you're gonna open omnistream and as you can see here in the corner it says two out of two so what's happening we have a uh, one wi-fi kind of icon thing and then we have another one that's like you know sim card cellular network kind of thing so basically when you say two out of two it means it's bonding two network sources okay and then so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you actually how you get to that okay and we're gonna do a quick test i'm gonna show you how the whole thing works so Usually when you open the OmniStream, this hamburger menu here, and then you go to settings, all right? So let's go down where it says network interface, okay? And click to that. And as you can see, it's going to ask you to choose either you want to use cellular or you want to use Wi-Fi or you want to use Wi-Fi plus cellular or simply or you want to use Ethernet. So for us, we have Wi-Fi and cellular, and that's the key for boning both networks right so if you're not if you just choose wi-fi you're just gonna use wi-fi if you choose cell cellular you're just gonna use cellular if you want to bond of course you're gonna you want to make sure you choose wi-fi and cellular all right so it's already selected for me and once we're done we can just go back and then another thing is again once you're done you're gonna see you're gonna have two out of two in here okay and another thing is if you want to test it let's say we set up something our bit rate, we set it up to something like 16 megabits per second. Again, this is super high. Nobody does. I mean, unless you're streaming in 4K, but usually I would say like, you know, 12, 10 megabits per second, 8 megabits per second. It's actually good for streaming to YouTube and 6 megabits per second. It's the max you can do if you're streaming to Facebook. All right. So once we have that, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and go to this destination icon and I'm going to create kind of like a fake stream. You know, it's not fake. It's real, but I'm just going to create a stream and send it, push it to YouTube. It's not fake. It's just a test stream. Let's call it that way. I'm going to make it unlisted. So now we have our YouTube stream set up and what I'm going to do is as if I was streaming 16 megabits per second, which is a little crazy, but I'm going to do it anyways, right? Which is really too high. Okay. Now, you can see I even gave me a cap so it can't let me do 16. So we're going to lower it uh, to 12 megabits per second. This is YouTube can take this. All right. So now we got two, 12 going to YouTube. Now, if I go to this chart thing here, all right, click to it. It's this chart icon. What you're going to see, you're going to see that we have two network sources. The first one is in red and that's my SIM card. And second one is my Wi-Fi and it's in green. And you can see how OmniStream is using both networks. It's kind of boning them to make sure the uh, connection stays stable, all right? It's kind of doing like 50-50 just to make sure the uh, connection stays stable, right? So this is the beauty of boning, guys. If you have like a super low internet connection, say you had like five megabits per second available from your SIM card and you have another five from Wi-Fi, you know, you can bond those two and get like, you know, 
10, 9, you know, 8-ish, depending on, you know, because, you know, they keep always changing. Wi-Fi is not stable. Cellular network is not stable. It depends on cell towers you have around you. So, like, but as you use bonding, it just, the uh, Omnistream is going to make sure it combines both. And it's going to use the best for, from each source to make sure everything goes as planned. So, for example, you see that my Wi-Fi actually just dropped. And uh, Omnistream, you know what they did? It just, that was like actually really cool. It just took all the 12 megabits per second from my cellular network. And then once the uh, Wi-Fi came back in, you know, you can see that now it went back to taking uh, a little bit of, you know, you know, connection or bandwidth from Wi-Fi. So that's how it works, you know. Wi-Fi may drop in time, like you can see now it's keep changing. Sometimes it's taking 38% from Wi-Fi and then keeping the most stable one, which is my cellular, taking kind of the most out of it. Like right now, another you know, incident happened. My Wi-Fi drops and it's now using 100% uh, cellular. And the stream stays stable. You, know, you can see that the stream stays at 12 megabits per second, which is cool. So guys, with this, you can do multiple things, including multi-streaming using, of course, OmniStream and this bonding technology. And if you want to know how you can actually multi-stream directly from your phone using OmniStream, I have a video that I made showing you step by step. And that video is linked right here. Make sure you check it out and I'll see you there, guys. Take care.